reason I became interested in saving the dome was because it is such a wonderful building. Um, it captures the imagination, it takes you back to a completely different era, and it's just one of those superb buildings. Thing that needs to be preserved as part of our heritage. It's very, very special. Originally, it was actually named the Kursaal, and that's the name for a multi-entertainment centre um, in the Edwardian times. Everybody was into kind of new technology and the moving pictures. You notice now that it actually looks really lovely because you've got all the glass fronted shops and this beautiful balcony and you know the lovely sea view. But when we took it over, it was all boarded up at the front. So you came in through this weird tunnel to get into the building. So people didn't know what they were coming in to see. They suddenly came into this magnificent space. <laughs> We're now standing in this fantastic auditorium. Those galleries which were first there in 1911 when it was a skating rink and this was changed in 1921 when cinema became really fashionable and at the front of the uh, auditorium here in 1921 there would have been an orchestra playing and originally in 1911 there would have been a hung a ceiling which went right up to the top a wooden ceiling. Now we're in the projection rooms. This was used until 2000. You have two carbon rods which burn together and at the back here there's a big lamp and the light gets bounced off the lamp then it goes through and is where the film is threaded up here and out onto the screen. And you can see here it's a real a film. That would last 20 minutes, and film today still comes in 20 minute reels, but they make it up onto these big reels now. Well, we call this the junk room, but that's actually being a bit naughty because it was originally in 1911 the dressing room. And you can see, I mean, it's untouched. The distemper on the walls is the same. We've done absolutely nothing to it at all and that's the idea. It's a very important architectural building. It's grade two star listed. So we just hope and pray that in the next 10 years the dome will still be surviving as a wonderful cinema.